my precious friend today is a very special day of course it's a sunday where the lord was resurrected but also along with that it's my mother's birthday today I wish everyone who is celebrating their birthday their anniversaries and also may god comfort those who are remembering their loved ones who are not with them today we thank god for my mother's life of 82 years and we thank God for his mercies upon her life. Today, the promise comes to us from Isaiah 35 and verse 2, which says, They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Yes, even in my mother's life and in your life, you have seen the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord came upon the shepherds who were faithfully watching over the sheep in the darkness of the night. And the angels came and sang to them that there is going to be peace on earth, goodwill towards men. And they announced the birth of Jesus Christ. Even today, my friends, as you've been faithfully fulfilling God's will, the glory of the Lord comes upon you. Today, you may say, I am in darkness. I am doing God's will. I'm taking care of God's children and so on, taking care of my family with all faithfulness. But still, there is darkness around me. But in all your faithfulness, today the glory of the Lord is going to descend upon you. That's what we have seen in my mother's life, 82 years. God has done it. The glory of the Lord is upon her. And it goes around the world even today at this age through her. In Matthew 17, you read as Jesus surrendered himself to do the will of God and was willing to go to the cross as Moses and Elijah appeared to him and spoke to him about his impending death. The glory of the Lord came upon Jesus and the splendor of the Lord came upon him. Even today as you obey the Lord in whatever he has given you, the glory of the Lord will be upon you and the splendor of the Lord will be upon you. This comes as you hear the word of the Lord and you do everything according to the word of the Lord. And secondly, this comes when you know the power of God and you say, I can do nothing, but greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And as you go trusting in the power of God, which is in you, trusting in the word of God and doing things exactly as God wants you to do, then you will see the glory of God and the splendor of God, as you see in Luke 22, 29. This is my mother's life's testimony, and this grace will come upon you too, shall we pray. Father, we pray that your glory and your splendor will come upon your children today, Lord, in a supernatural way. You will lead them amidst all the darkness of the world. Their paths will shine from now on, and they will hear your voice, and they will see your glory, Lord, and the world will hear what they say. And everyone's favor will be with them. Whatever they do, let it prosper today. Let them have miracles, good health, and divine peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you.